What is up, lads? We're back. Podcast is in session. Wes, man, what a what a what a podcast we've got ahead of us because we're both hyped. We're both buzzing. Um, we are going to be keeping it straight down the line. Though we're not going to get too carried away just yet. We are we are hyped, but we are going to keep it a fair discussion as we always do. Highlight some of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and speaking of ugly, I am joined by now. Any messing? I am joined oh, by. <laughs> Do I am like that, guys. I love that. You're gonna do me like that on the podcast show. I'm only messing, man. I'm only joking. You're looking, you're looking sick, ripping the 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 Pez the Pez top. But um, yeah, here we are, man. V zero or V zero point nine has become V one point oh. Oh man, I'm like, it's been such a crazy two days. I mean, not alone. I'm operating on about three hours sleep, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that you're gonna carry this podcast because I know that you were streaming earlier. And you've played a lot of the the game through the menus and looked <laughs> into <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> looked at the teams, looked at the new functionality, which seems to be very deep this year. Um, but like before we get into the 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 nitty gritty, so to speak, um, I just want to ask you because genuinely, like you've gone on such a journey, I think, with eFootball, as in, you know, you were kind of like no interest in it, but kept an eye on it, coming on the podcast, talking to me about your 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 fears for the future, that it wasn't holding your interest anymore, not to play for um, with my club and stuff. And and now here we are uh, with V1.0. V um, so I just want to jump in and, and just ask you, and I'm sure everyone listening is going to want to know as well, like your initial expectations yesterday to your actual like getting in there seeing what it's about today so i'm just going to let you let you run run free with this <laughs> is this is this where i get my shoot this is your this is your monologue <laughs> oh, act three scene one monologue wes uh i mean uh, first of all i think from from an expectation point of view which i think anybody who has listened to these podcasts or you know see me tweet live stream whatever the case may be you'll have probably know that my expectations were just so like kind of bottom rung like basement <laughs> just like as long as the game runs i'll be happy like that that was that was essentially where i was at yeah and, and you were rock and, bottom and for a while it's still it's still where i was yeah. you know in terms of how how you know we we've gone on record god knows how many times about that how i felt about the the release and the marketing and the <clears> communication <throat> etc get it you know that's that's where i was now where i am now I've kind of, it's almost as though it's a kind of put in it in an analogy. It's like, you know, I've got to like the, I've kind of got up to the surface of the water and mm. then I can see the iceberg. <laughs> from, like, a, like, I can see that there's an iceberg there and I'm, I'm aware how deep it actually goes. Yeah. Um, my, my, I generally thought today it was going to be a case of I like boot the game up and my, my feeling would be, oh, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I heard Instead, you say that. Instead, the narrative, the, the, the narrative change now for me has become it's better than I expected. Mm. It, it, it's such a difference in those two statements because one, you're just expecting, oh, it's just going to be awful. And then when you're presented with the game, yes, all right, the, the UI, it still hurts my eyes. I may have to turn down the brightness <sighs> of my color eye. scheme. Man. It's, it's, it's neon. It's like, it's just, ah. And, and obviously, button presses and the amount of times you go through menus and stuff, it can be a little bit janky. Mm. But once you see past that and it, i know for some of the viewers of this parish it, and listeners of this parish it can be either impossible to get past or it's going to be very hard to get mm. past but once you are past it and you go do you know what that's okay we can i can live i can live with very bright colors actually there are some very very good uh kind of facets to this game mode in mm. dream team that weren't there with my club yeah. that were constantly asked for in my club that were constantly pitched as ideas for my club yeah you know, the the kind Concepts of the, the, the and major, designs like the, yeah the major thing for me is your contract list yeah. and, your contra and, the, and the, the ability to go and just pick players off of a shelf yeah because you basically just go it's crazy Do you man. know what you don't you don't need you don't nest you don't need uh you don't need special scouts anymore you don't need to try and find combinations of scouts yeah. That's all gone. You, you can literally just go on and go, right, I see Mo Salah. I've got enough GP. Thank you very much. I'm you cool. Get, yeah. get on the boat, right? And for me, when I had was presented with my veteran bonus, when I had everything to come through, I'm like, 
oh my god, I can I can put a team together here. Like, <laughs> what, what is this? So like I'm going through. I'm, I mean, and and full credit to my chat this morning. Absolutely popping off with player suggestions. Ah, oh, take a look at Graven Birch. What's Timber looking like? Oh, what's <laughs> Nunes looking like for Bevy? Honestly, the amount of players yeah. that I now have in the club is crazy. But that's just part one of it. It's like that. That was the kind of the oh well, that should be the major. That should be the major talking point mm. to me. The major talking point is actually the new the new system of developing the player. Yeah, um, that's which huge. Is you assign you assign them kind of your development points, as it were. So you know, it, gone are the days of well, you need a an X. You've got an XP trainer, and then the game decides what XP you get, and then the game decides where that XP then gets yeah. sent and where random the, kind the, of stat they drew. Yeah, well, not random, random, but determined, like, like predetermined. As like yeah, it's just you, everyone has you, the same version of the same player. Same yeah, stats. Like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it'd just be a case of, oh, where well, you'd have a sliding scale, you can see what a player's going to be at like level 80. Instead, mm. now you now have the freedom of choice, the freedom of movement to go. Actually, let's just use my Jacob Ramsey, for example. I bring him, I get him in, I think he's 70, ba- 70 at base, but I have the choice then of using my XP trainers to go right. How do you <laughs> want Jacob Ramsey to be? Do you want him to be Speedy Gonzalez, a box to box midfielder up and down? Do you want him to be dynamic or do you want him to be? physical basically just hold the midfield yeah you have that ability to mold your players and your team exactly the way that you want to in this dream team mode and it's i never thought i never thought that those those were things that i really wanted until you get presented with them you Mm. go god this is actually really good and it even extends to the managers as well The, the the fact that no longer are managers you know you you buy a manager and it's that's their tactic. That's their thing. You. That's how you've got to play. Yeah. Instead, you've got the freedom. You've now got the freedom to go. Actually, I've got Gareth Southgate, and instead of him playing four two three one, which is a bit conservative, and it's got you know all 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 out, all out defense and all of the other things that we used to have. Instead, it goes. Okay, how do you want to play? Mm. What position? How how do you want your players to position? Do you want to play three five two? Do you want to play? You know, do you want to play uh, counter? Do you want to play possession? Like, what do you want to do? Yeah. And then you've also then got like kind of stuff like the individual player instructions. You've got all of these little facets of the game, which, granted, you know, to some people they might be going, "Well, it sounds a bit happy." Yes, I absolutely <laughs> am, because do you know what? It's been freedom that has been cried out for since probably my club's inception. Yeah, since MLO, we I would haven't, say. We haven't, we haven't, definitely we haven't since had MLO. It. We haven't had it, and the amount of people that referenced MLO in my yeah. chat this morning yeah, it's... because of the nature of it, it's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, granted, you're now going to come up with some very weird tactics. You're going to see a lot of people <laughs> probably playing eight or nine at the back, right? And it will be a bit weird at times. Yeah, but for that degree of freedom to be able to put teams and players exactly where you want them and develop them how you want, it, it it's truly it's going without obviously that is with the name now being dream team but mm. this is now my this is now my club as yeah. cheesy as it sounds this yeah. is mine this is how i want to run it so mm. for me i i am in dreamland with this game mode and just the, the it's those just tiny touches that again i didn't think i needed but mm. i've now got and uh you know i am excited to eventually play it when i overcome whatever connection issues i do have yeah but I'm excited to go and play. Like, I have a team full of players where I'm like, ah, oh, do you know what? They're all, like, 70, 70 and 72 rated. They're all youngsters. But because of the new uh, coaching efficient, uh, uh, what is it, the coaching? Let me get the right word for it, folks. It's, like, coaching affinity. That's, That's professional, lads. It's I've, got professional. Game, I've, got game, I've got the game next to it. As much as I'm staring at it, I'm like, I, I can't. I can't. You know, you can't look away from the bright the bright colours. Um, you get a tan off them. You, yeah, you definitely can. You definitely can. But you get you have the coaching affinity now. So yeah. again, the choice the manager now becomes of what bonuses do you want your squad to have? Mm. Do you want it to be that your midfielders get three hundred percent more XP yeah. in the game? Do you want it to be that players under under twenty four, much like it is with Southgate? Do you want players under twenty four to have uh, an extra XP boost or players of a certain uh, player value yeah. to have that? Yeah, it's, there's like a lot said, of depth there now. It, there's a lot of depth where there wasn't depth before, mm. which is why, granted, I took a long time during the menus this morning where I had people just turn around and go, how about just play some gameplay? I'm like, well, <laughs> and I may have also accidentally made a game that is quite friendly. Like, if the UI was not that yeah, color, yeah, yeah. you would have a very menu-friendly game yeah. that you could happily go and spend time in. Um, but, but I yeah, think, I, man, as I, well, I like, said, I think I think the big thing, right? Like, and 
not to cut in on you, but like everything that you're saying there, like I think the biggest thing that people have had a hard, the hardest thing people have had accepting, I think personally from talking to people and from being on Twitter a lot and just talking to a different range of people, whether they're like content creators or editors or, you know, just guys that play the game professionally. You know what I mean? I think the biggest thing that's been lost on people or maybe not lost on people is the wrong way of saying it, but like, I still see comments today about like, you know, oh, where's Master League? Where's edit mode? And like, we basically exist because of Master League, like Pez Universe, everything that we've ever accomplished, everything that we've ever done mm-hmm. in terms of the platform. I'm not talking about us personally, because we've done stuff outside of Pez Universe or yeah. whatever, like you, the commentary and all that sort of stuff. Right. But I'm talking yeah. about Pez Universe, like exist primarily because of Master League and edit mode. Like we created Pez Universe originally back seven eight years ago to like to, to, to for master league you know what i mean it wasn't yeah. for mlo it wasn't for my club it wasn't for online divisions or anything like that or it was strictly for master league and edit master mode because we were big fans yeah. of it and there was a lot of us on the fringes of different communities and we all just said you know what let's just come together and we'll try and do something you know big and yeah. so for me right for me personally who spends more time editing the game for the last 10 years or 15 years probably than actually playing it apart from maybe Pez 16 and maybe Pez 6. They're like, it's a huge omission for me not to have edit mode of Mass League, right? Yeah, but yeah. I accepted a long time ago, maybe when I first started hearing stuff before it was kind of, you know, out in the open, so to speak, when I got the kind of yeah. the, the rumors and the confirmation that it was going free to play, it was being rebranded. Like this... This isn't the, this isn't Pez like this is and I've said this on the podcast so many times before right yeah Konami have finally like sat down and said right where is our main game mode focus going to be it's going to be online and it's going to be Dream Team right that's mm-hmm. where they wanted to focus on this and gameplay they wanted to have a nice core gameplay they fucked up with Z- zero point nine it was you know a disaster like all the, we saw it all me yeah, all yeah. the memes all the bugs all the glitches yeah. everything right yeah 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 they've yeah. owned that to whatever degree they've owned it with the statement and now this game is basically what it is so like people expecting this to be like oh you know the gameplay is crap then the gameplay improves oh yeah but the gameplay is better now but there's nothing to play like this isn't pez and that's not me excusing and you know swallowing anything that just comes our way and just be thankful that konami put out a football game that's me accepting that this is how i see this now e-football right and i'm going on a bit of a tangent sorry but how I see this <laughs> is the same way as if Konami had sold the Pez license to Ubisoft or someone like that. They rebranded yeah, it, it as become... a brand new franchise, rename yeah. My Club to Dream Team. Oh, this reminds me of that game a couple of years back. Remember Pez? Remember My Club? This is what it reminds me of. It just happens to be from the same team, the Konami team, right? Like, yeah. so I get that Master League and Edit Mode aren't in it. I know that they're coming in the future and I know that they are confirmed to come. We don't know a date yet, but... I think judging this based on what it is, you can see a lot of yeah. work has been done towards making this like an ever evolving game like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I made the I made the point I made the point in the live stream this morning where I basically said, do you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not even going to be go, going down the route of oh well, you know, compared to Pez twenty twenty one or Pez twenty twenty or, or whatever Pez number that we want to pick out of the sky, because you know that's been and gone. That's, yeah, that, that's now that's now done. Yeah. Like it from a from a franchise standpoint and from a gaming standpoint, I defy anybody to turn around to me today and turn around and say they're still actively playing very old, but you know, kind of pezzies. And by very old, I don't mean like your Pez fives and sixes because I know they're goaded. Yeah, I mean as in like no one's sitting here with a Super Nintendo going, I'm still playing International Superstar mm. Soccer Deluxe. Mm. No one is sat here going, I'm still playing Goldstorm, unless you're Shales. Unless yeah, which is an exception. I, yeah. I have to qualify that. But <laughs> the, my, my point is, is that no one's sat here going, ah, oh, do you know what? That, that's where that is. Like, yeah. you know, for, you know and, and for me, that the gaming systems, the gaming culture, and the gaming communities have moved on to such a degree that if you were to go back, for example, and play, I don't know, let's just, again, talk gaming generally, if you went back and played GoldenEye today, it probably doesn't stand up. No, for the not, test of time. no, no, no. It but, doesn't like. But it, but it doesn't stop you from appreciating that 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 game got you to where yeah, it is, and that's where that's where kind of my energy comes from when I always mention about 
Master League and edit modes and, and all the rest of it is that although yes I don't play uh, you know I don't play offline all that much if at all uh, I don't play Master League if much if at all but I still understand the frustrations of players like today's update very much is it's online focused yeah of course like, it is there's yeah. No the, whole it. Mode, it's, sure. it's, the whole game it's, is now online yeah. focus like it's, and it's if that's for, not for you yeah. if that's not for you that's fine like you don't like that's what I'm saying man is that like I'm not going to sit here and, you know, be a propaganda machine and say, like, you have to accept that this is, like, the successor yeah. to Pez. Like, I, I totally, like, I have friends and I have guys that I really respect that I've met through Pez that eFootball just isn't for them. Like, they're just not online players and they don't want to sit there and play it, no matter how good the, the mode is or how good the features are. They're just the same reason that they don't play warzone online or nba online they yeah. just want to play yeah. elden ring and games like that single player games master league whatever right but at the same time like judging e-football now compared to pez 2021 or pez 6 or pez 13 or whatever is kind of like i don't know it's kind of like judging like gta to gta online it's like no one is saying that you can't be upset and be raging that master league isn't here like I'd love, yeah. I would love this attention to detail and the mode that has been put into Dream Team, into Master League, an offline mode with an unbelievable edit mode. I'd, mm. I'd love that, man. But at the same time, like well, that becomes the next, that becomes the next discussion. Then yeah. it's a case of do, do we think it's going to get there? Do we think that this type of attention that's come to Dream Team is now going to come to the likes of, of Master League and edit mode? And you'd like to think, I so, think they will because the I think they have all the foundations the there now for. Yeah just making it more offline and friendly. Like, they have all the training. It's they have the player prog progression. Like, it doesn't, you know... And, like, again, I, I totally sympathize with people that are, like, disenchanted with the with the series of, like, this isn't what they grew up with and stuff. But at the same time, like, it's not, it's not easy to say, like, oh, if you don't like it, like, do one. Do you know what I mean? Like, I do sympathize with people. But at the same time, like, this is an update strictly for gameplay and dream team and that's kind of what i'm looking at it like you know i'm not i'm not yeah. in there and saying like oh this is this is terrible like if the gameplay is poor that's different because that's what they focused on but like from speaking to you and stuff i was watching your stream this morning and i was even surprised how like buzzing while. you are yeah i was just I surprised how like buzzing you are i was like what i said who is this and well what have you done with my weather you know i was like where is yeah, this guy what have you done with the angry Chewbacca? Yeah. Like, what have you done with him? Yeah, it, it, but that's, that's the thing. It was like, it, and that's why I mean by it, that the, the, my narrative changed from, well, it, it, it's not as bad as I thought it was to it's now better than I expected. Because there's a lot of stuff to commend. Mm. Like, there really, genuinely, there is. I mean, granted, you know, I'm looking at, yes, all right, player, player card design could certainly use a lick of paint. Yeah. Could probably certainly use a little thing. Sure, the fact that we haven't got edit mode yeah, all right. The patches are looking a bit ski with, but again, we're having to. You know, we've been we've been dealing with. We're all you know, Xbox non... players, now, man. That's no, but, no, Xbox no, guys would be like, "Welcome to our world," you know. Yeah, but historic historically, option files haven't really been a mainstream thing to have. If that makes sense, like like in the days of old, where it was you know you had your RGB and you were trying to sort out the kits on the snares. Yeah. Nobody had an option file back then. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And 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 players have dealt with this before it's yeah. just it would be a nice it's a nice to have at this point um but i think some of the you can tell the differences in terms of the the pack animate or at least the, the player animation yeah. so when i opened my uh my five veteran ones you noticed where the real engine had at least been used because mm. you could tell the difference between where the engine switches yeah 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 because when that animation happens where it zooms in on Vieira's face and you see every wrinkle and every bead of sweat on him it looks absolutely incredible yeah like in terms of that but i think the anticipation from people was going to be well that's the level of detail that's then going to be in the gap like, yeah that's the level of detail is going to be on the pitch now granted if you were having a fully unreal engined football game yeah that was just probably... next gen that was just on ps5 but yeah the biggest market it, for pez at the moment is still on ps4 like you know, it's on last wow, it's gen. Still on, so. It's still on mobile. Yeah, that well, alone, that alone, yeah, well, that's yeah. a different kettle of fish. That's, a, that's gonna be, a di but it's gonna be a different, but it's gonna be a different topic. Is that mm. you know, yes, it's gonna need to, it's gonna need to run on all systems, but I think that I'm sure there will be updates going forward where stuff improves, like because 
again, this sets the table. It's almost like the start. It's like your origin movies of like of like you know your your, your comic book heroes. It's like oh, okay, well we've got the Batman, which I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't watched the Batman. But it sets the it sets <laughs> yeah. it sets the table yeah. for the next movie and the next movie along. Yeah. So it's the same with gaming. This now sets this is almost almost their their reset and refresh mm. of going right. Okay, here's where we're at. And by all by all means. I am not discounting the fact that this has taken nearly. Oh yeah, look, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's yeah, we, I, we've I will had not discount. Of I know you won't either. Discussing yeah. the, the the failings of it. That's the thing. Yeah. Like we I'm haven't shied away dismiss, from that. Yeah, I'm not going to dismiss the fact that this probably you know this this should have been way earlier. I'm also mm. not going to you know shy away from the fact that we're still on five mini offline yeah, games. Yeah, like that sort of stuff I, is crazy. You know. It's like it's kind of like I know they want to push like, people like they do want to push people to try like to play Dream Team because that's where all the focus has gone and like yeah but it, if you want to play that, if you is. want to play like an unlimited time limit match you literally can go into training mode I know it doesn't like have score keep score or anything like that but you yeah. can go in and change all the teams you can play as any team you want really if you go in and train do the training mode yeah I know it's but I know again, it's 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 it's, it's, it's stupid, not but. it's not. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not the, like you could like it doesn't it would not have taken them a lot to yeah. to do this to do dream team and then at least give give offline players some yeah like a single like, season or the, something like that now, tournament because again because again online players you're absolutely off to the races yeah. you guys are well we we as yeah. a whole will be loving it because it's like oh my god we've got content we're gonna have this we're gonna have that we're gonna have the other we we still obviously got the the, the match pass system or the season pass system to come in yes that comes in i think it's next week potentially yeah like next there's, there's you've got the e-football league stuff you've got all of these other bits that are coming for online <laughs> so you've got to give something to the offline base to at least appease them somewhat yeah no you know, i agree with that i was, agree with that even if it were even if it's a case of you're not gonna have master league or edit mode at least give them the opportunities for like i don't know the exhibition mode yeah the cup mode yeah and the league mode yeah at least then it gives them something yeah to then go off of because then they can turn around to their pals and go bloody hell this offline gameplay at 10 minutes like it's actually really good although it's not master league it's still really good yeah. and then we've got master league to come yeah. so it's like it, it's just if there was a little bit more mindfulness on that score i think we'd be okay I, yeah. I, I, again again we talk about you know i'm gonna jump around on this pod as well yeah man there, there's no structure to this one because i'm i'm too no, because it's just too we're, hyper we're too, today yeah so so you know i was looking through i was reading the the kind of notices first time i'd ever done that in a pez game mm. as well or an e-football game um uh, of reading notices to a degree and it was like, although it still has the various gameplay enhancements to improve the experience, yeah. there is also the before you get of. before you get to that, there is a whole heap of things that they go, This was wrong. We fixed this, 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 yeah. this, this, and this. And I was like, Do you know what? Tick. Tick. Yeah. All right, yes, it still has the phrase that pays, it still has the you know, the, the, the bingo noise. Like it still has that, but we've got some structure to where we are in mm. terms of in terms of but yeah, we can never, like, we can never, like, even though, I, like, look, I'm one of the most optimistic people you'll ever meet in your in your life, in, in every aspect of life. Like, I'd be a nine to girlfriend. <laughs> I look, I'm always like, oh, it'll be grand. We'll sort that out, you know? Like, we'll sort that out. It'll be fine. But, like, we we can't ever win a debate, and I can't win a debate against somebody that, that, that levels it at us and say, you know, like, oh, like, they should have this in the game. They should have that in the game. And like that's yeah because you know, we're sat not, there going yeah we absolutely agree. yeah we agree <laughs> we agree but that doesn't mean that like that doesn't mean that we can't ob- like see the good the good points as well you know if somebody yeah. says to me like oh how are you happy that edit mode isn't in the game I'm not like but so yeah. why are you playing it I said because when I get an hour in the evening after work to chill out if she's the missus is watching something on TV where I get an hour if I can sit down and have as much fun playing Dream Team as I can play in yeah. Warzone or I can play in NBA 2K and I have that option to rotate into my game and library, like, I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? I play an hour yeah, or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I played co-op literally, like, primarily just co-op, like, last season with Pez 2021. That's not in at launch, yeah. right? I'm devastated. Yeah, which I saw. Yeah, but and there was at the same time, were... like, yeah. at the same time, like, I I hear all the I I agree with all the criticisms like and me and you can't ever win a debate of like things of like that should be in the game and that we take for granted and even stuff that we're highlighting here and saying 
oh my God, you're able to buy players that you actually want with GP. And it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like FIFA guys and NBA 2K guys would be like, God, you're like, yeah. you're like 10 years behind. Like you're accepting that, that that's a big positive. That should be a given. And it should be a given, but it never was a given before. So like... The only time it was a given was, 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 was when it was massively online. Yeah. And, that, and, that, and that has been... That's, that's a, you know, a good few years ago. That's, yeah. and, but that's, that's where we are at as a fan base for eFootball, I suppose, is that, you know, what can be incredibly the basics to other games, mm. like your NBAs, your FIFAs, etc., we are just like, oh my god, that's like, that's like revolution. It's yeah, like, it's for us, like it's for Pez, it is. It's, a it's revolutionary like coming into next idea. gen, like you know, it's like yeah. going from SD to HD or to 4K. Like, yeah. it's like, oh my god, it's, like look at this. Yeah, it's like, does, yeah, we had that ten years like, ago, lads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, but that's it. But that's the thing. So it's like some people will look at us and go, or look at me and or other people who are who are sufficiently hyped by this game now, and we'll go, oh yeah, but you know really really basic stuff and i'm like do you know what it really it is, is yeah they're right in, in, when when the basic stuff is put into a game that you actually enjoy yeah it makes such a oh, difference because huge. now all of a sudden although the fact that i'm sat here going i can't get a game for whatever reason at the same time i'm not sitting here going oh look, i can't get a game for another reason sweet i'm never playing this again yeah. i'm waiting and chomping at the bit to yeah. be like i want to get on i want to yeah. get on i want to play some games yeah and i want to get on and play this which again you would struggle and say over probably say an 18 month period i haven't been able to do yeah because there wasn't much point in playing oh oh uh, uh 0.9 because it was the mess and bug fest that it was mm -hmm. there wasn't much point in playing 0.91 because there wasn't that much to play for yeah. apart from gp had i have got a time machine and realized how vital gp is in this game <laughs> mode I'd yeah, have man, gone back I'm in the time machine. I've got big stacks to, over here at uh, Midnight Kid FC. I was, like, with my I was looking at Jenkins. I was looking at Jenkins. Yeah, two million or something. Oh right? yeah, I've got like I've got like two mil. Yeah. I've got Neymar. I've got, I'm like I'm like oh okay. The, the now I understand the benefit. Yeah. Like, but but man, that's I the thing as well. Like you time. weren't you like you were, you were like you know you were frustrated like with it like you were you were disinterested yeah. you know and that like well I, that's the thing like as well is that like when when we talk about the basics of a football game or we talk about the basics of any game right yeah. one of the biggest criticisms that has faced pez since like my club's inception right and i know a good lot of guys that we used like you know and i used to bait with them left right and center right that like there was no argument to be had that it was like they would bring out certain players that you could only buy with coins right yeah and people would say to me and i'd say to people i totally agree with it like i said like you know it's ridiculous like whereas now there is an option there that it's like right if Lewandowski is 1 million gp right and i'm getting mm -hmm. twenty thousand gp for every match i play right so yeah. simple maths you're able to figure out right if i play x amount of games yeah, i'm going yeah, to be yeah, able yeah, to yeah. afford Lewandowski, right if yeah. somebody has the option that they need to grind for two months to build a team that they want to build, at least they now have the option that they don't need to yeah. spend a penny. Now, it might take them forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might take them forever to do it, but they can't throw that back in Konami's face and say, oh, it's all about microtransactions. Like, well, but that you know, was it. But you that have was the it. options that was all, That's all I, that's all I per me personally, that's all I ever yeah. cried out for. All I ever cried out for was, I understand that there's coin-only agents. I understand that. But at least give somebody the option or the ability to grind yeah. to that. Even to if it takes point. forever and, granted, and it's not worth your time granted, to some. Yeah. You know? Granted, we granted, we might not ever get a point where they go, Oh, feature players actually you can open these using GP. I don't think we'll ever get to that point. Mm, but no, I at don't least think so. from uh, but at least from at least from a standpoint of here's the base card that you can train up. Yeah, you train up to be the same as to whoever the featured players. Now all of a sudden you have that avenue. You have the avenue to go actually. I, I can use my GP. I can go and sign players. I can go bring bring a team together. Yeah. Like that's that's the, the difference here. But it, it opens up so many different avenues. It opens up. For example, I was looking at some of the prices of the Villa players. You know, you could do you could do so many. They're minus. Different... They're in the minus in the GP. Yeah, they, buy them, yeah, yeah. I, they actually pay yeah, you to yeah. take them. I heard. It's so funny. <laughs> he says that when his team wants John McGinn. Anyway, uh, but but the, but the 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 avenues for content are so vast and yeah. so kind of yeah. You know, uh, you know, there's so many different ways you can go with this. At least from a content standpoint, from a content creator standpoint. Granted, if you're just try hard on the internet, you just want to go and buy Lewandowski, Neymar, yeah. Haaland. Yeah, and, and I'm sure thing. by next week when all the the coins come out, there's yeah. going to be people which 
with stacked teams and that's fair yeah, enough that's course. their own money and that's they're entitled yeah. to do it but that's not going to take from my enjoyment then it comes into it that it's like well can i play level three is there enough players playing that i can actually match up with guys similar teams to me can i, I think given the systems i yeah. think given the systems that they've put in place though i can see a lot more people being more creative with oh definitely man. but you not can do squad battles fact- now you could do pink slips yeah. you can do you know if i beat you you have to sign like you know yeah. i don't know somebody terrible and, and put him up front for 10 games like there's 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 so much creative content there that could potentially be u- like utilized now that i think that it's going to be like i'm looking forward to seeing you guys stream properly do you know what i mean where you're yeah. like you're like really getting into it and like yeah what am i going to do yeah. The energy, the energy, the energy is going to be so much different. Yeah. In that directory, like I think for I think at some one point this morning, I think there was four thousand people watching yeah. games. Yeah. Granted, mind not necessarily transpire to four thousand players who are playing the game at that point. Yeah. However, the point still remained that 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 directory hasn't been that alive. Yeah, that's big. In 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 a very very long yeah. time, like it hasn't been that alive. Like it'll be interesting to see what happens when Seth gets a hold of this. Like yeah, I, I am yeah, very much, I very much, I very much taken the phone off the receiver. I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm just sitting here. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna sit here and watch Harry Michael. Because for somebody of Seth's ilk, for example, if you, you can, you can play this in so many different ways. You can play it in the way of, I just want to sit here and try hard, or I just want to have the best players, or you go down the set. I, I call it the set line, mm. the set route. You go down the separate where you are meticulously looking at how each change that you make impacts your team. Yeah. You know, he's going to, you know, for example, just using him as an example, he's going to be able to grow a squad or grow a set of players who he can go, right, actually, I want them to be this type of, because they've got this type of card. Yeah, the progression. Or this type of, I, go, I'm go, I want to make him this. Yeah. And he, even that as a thing is, it, again, it sounds alien coming out of my mouth, but it's going to be intriguing to watch mm. both from, from, from a, you know, from a content creator standpoint and just a viewer standpoint, yeah. but even from player standpoint, you're going to unlock so many different ways. Like you mentioned earlier, we could have the same player, but there could be two vastly different yeah. players. Yeah. You know, we could both have, for example, we both have Darwin Nunes. You could turn, you could turn him into a powerhouse forward. that's mm. just got, you know, ridiculous physical contact. Whereas I might turn him into a speed. So he's yeah. got ridiculous pace acceleration. Yeah. Th- there's, there's there's a lot more freedom to it now. Granted, there's a lot of day one hype about this as well. So I will yeah, temper my. Of course, yeah. I will tem I will temper it by saying is in now given what we can see right now, it's gonna be when we see it two or three months down the line. Mm. It's gonna be I think where we're gonna then definitively go. This is what it's like. This is how it is. Yeah. I think that's gonna that's gonna be the telling point. It's gonna be after fifty, a hundred games. Yeah. And I know some people were like, "Oh well, you know, if you can't tell the difference after one game, then, then no, you, you, not, like, you well, can't. No. Not online. It, I would it, say twenty hours, easy. Twenty hours to see the mechanics. Like at the end of the day, man, there's always ways to play a game. And if you want to be good at a game, which everyone does online because they don't like losing, yeah, of course. You want to you you have to you have to learn the mechanics inside out. You know, it's yeah. the same as playing Warzone. There's two or three guns every month that are like completely OP. And if you don't use them, yeah. you're 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 playing at a disadvantage. And it's the same in every game. And like I think this year with Dream Team, that's gonna be my biggest thing is like, do they have a mode in there? Like maybe every month there's a special kind of like limited yeah. mode that it's like you can only yeah, have a three gonna... star team to get the max yeah. rewards. You can which still you get, do your, you can still play your normal matches in that. Like like in NBA two K, do you know the way it's if limited have... and yeah, if you have themed online challenges, yeah. or if you have themed cups that you run or themed leagues that yeah. you have run. So, for example, if at one point during the eFootball League it goes, oh, well, actually, um, to, to qualify for eFootball League points, you need to be able to use a team that's maximum team strength of 1,800. Yeah, or four qualify. players from the Spanish League, four yeah. players from an English League. And yeah, you can go out yeah. and, and whack it off and be like, right, you're, in, you're, you know, you're streaming. It's not just streamers we're talking about here, but like you're at home yeah, playing yourself. Surprised. Yeah, you're playing by yourself and you're like, Geez, I'm a bit weak on the left, the left, you know, left midfield. Like, you know, I got caught there that game now, or my left back isn't strong enough, or he's not tall enough, or whatever. I'm gonna go up and upgrade him. Do you know? So you grind, you sell a few players, you do a, mi- a bit of mix and match, and yeah. you go in, you upgrade position by position. Whether that's true GP, yeah, or whether it's true buying agents, or whether it's getting legend players, or whatever it is. Like, I just, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with where it is. But as you said, was it's the foundations that are here. Like, if we're still playing this exact game in six months' time, as in, like, no campaigns, I know they're coming, but, like, 
that would be a different thing. But for right now, yeah, it is it is hype. Like I mean, I said to you earlier in the week, I'd say since I'd say Monday, like whatever happened, like you know, our Twitter and our interactions and everything was like completely just dead. Like up until, well, not dead. It was still ticking over and that, but like this week it wasn't at the level never, it's at now yeah this this week was up there in terms of like i literally like my my phone was just hopping like, like hundreds and <laughs> so hundreds of followers of yeah no i just i was ignoring you but like oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> no but i'm saying that like i've only ever seen that hype and that level of interactivity and that level of interest in people look you know dming like messaging yeah. tagging me and stuff like retweeting liking like i've only seen that like once or twice before with the launch of the game with like the option files and stuff when we'd be putting out yeah. images of real madrid's kit from nem or the details from clash or sarto or carrasco yeah. and we'd be like look at this chelsea kit and whatever um yeah and people would be hyped to get the kits into my club and hyped to get their master league underway and if you know your everything would be going mad but like this is even crazier i think because there's none of that like it's literally just an online mode built within the game you know it's not community built stuff it's yeah, like online think, stuff so yeah. that's all yet to come yeah. but yeah it's good to be hyped I mean, man i mean i i, I, I kind of yeah. feel i don't i'm not going to say i feel justified or i feel happy that like i i kept optimistic like you know i i i'm just happy for the guys that like look to Pez as like you know a really good hobby i'm happy for them that there is there is light at the end of the tunnel now in terms of like there's a lot of options there whether you want to wait until edit mode of master league in you know whenever it comes or you want to dive into dream team like i was even talking to shales and he was like i can't wait to play dream team Do you know he was like buzzing <laughs> like he's like the fact that he knows he can go in and sign saka or he can sign martinelli yeah. or he can sign whoever he wants to sign like yeah. is enough for him to say damn i can actually just play this as master league except that it's so online I, and i'm playing against randoms do you know instead yeah, of the cause ai because my because my, my first thought when they when it slowly started to come out that it might be a thing or that, that it came out that it's thing, i thought it was just going to be like oh well it'll be like a set it'll be like a set list of players that yeah. like reset every so i thought that as well and, I then, when I, that and as then when well. i went on there when i went on there this morning i did the filter and it was like oh see next 100 i was like wait hold on who who can i see <laughs> like, and in my chat in my chat there was a very city fan and um and he was like oh can you just check how much uh can you check how much they are and and that's like it's like nine nine thousand gp for like troy dini but i was like to the depth level that they've gone all the way down to every single solitary player you can get in dream team mm. to give them a price and to go yep yeah, this is how much it is yeah. to have that is like okay you've you've really gone to some type of thought here and 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 i think the the overall the overwhelming kind of groundswell that's starting to happen and the narrative starting to just change ever so slightly from 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 kind of people who were maybe disappointed and, and annoyed I think it's starting to slowly turn because I think the game is better than even the game. The 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 the, the game mode is better than what even what the most negative person thought yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. Like I like I have seen you know I've seen you know countless different people and and as I said last podcast it's okay to change your mind it's okay. Yeah, to sure, change I'm not going to judge it's anyone. Cool. That's, like like whoever like, wants to act example, how they want to act online that's on them. Do you know what I mean? Like no, but, I act but how what I, I mean act is, and... is that. Yeah, but what I mean is, is that is that if you're if you have a set of information and you form an opinion based on that yeah. information, if that information then changes, you are then also okay to go. Oh, well, I didn't realize that before. Okay, maybe yeah, of course, man. But that's the thing: if somebody has written off the game is, six yeah. months ago or two months ago or yesterday, and now they're going to play it, like <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to judge them. I mean, it's their free yeah. time; they can do, they can play what they want. But it, but it's also but it's good to see that. But it's also good to see even from those circles that. Despite the fact of being, I don't want to say the words negative, but despite the fact of being kind of, you know, in a position where they were like, ah, I'm not, I'm not hyped for this anymore. Or, yeah, I'm but that was understandable this. as well, man, because the was hype still, was gone. Was still, yeah, and but it's still nice to see that they've had the curiosity, the, the the kind of the the wherewithal to go, okay, well, I'll give it a shot and I'll see what happens, mm. you know, and that and that even that is is enough for them to go, well, hold on, we actually this. Is, and, th and again, that goes back to that. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like that's that's where that is. I mean, for me now, like I said, I'm 
itching to get a game on this thing. Yeah. I'm itching. I am <laughs> literally going. Team. I'm staring at, at like Becca Bauer and Vieira and Giroud and Jacob Ramsey, and I'm going, okay, I actually want to get online with this now. Like, yeah. But obviously, for whatever reason, it is what it is. But, but they've like, come full circle, know. though, man, as well. Like, and I, I don't know, was it me and you talking yeah, during the week? Can, but I think, if this had dropped, it. yeah, if this had dropped, like, let's just say, right, if we were to rewind six months ago and what we got today dropped back instead of V0.9, right? Hell, let's say, even say it dropped instead of the online performance test, right? Let's just rewrite history and say, right, yeah. this is what dropped today. Dream Team was available to play from last September or October. I think the level of hype would have been big, but I don't think it would have been where we're at now because I think people have seen kind of a world or a gaming world without Pez. And like, even though we've had really rough times before with Pez 2008, Pez 2014, you know, we, we, I don't, I think this was like, I think this was like the final straw for a lot of people that had built up so much hope and expectations of, right, they're taking two years, they're taking three years, they're taking this to get this right. They have the messy trailer, which looks photorealistic. They're talking like, yeah. about crossplay, they're talking about all this. And then when it came out, I think that, they, that was just so frustrating for people, right? But I do think now that people, like I know I said I'm I'm being a hypocrite here, I'm counteracting myself, contradicting myself. I said that <laughs> Pez isn't e football, but there's still that kind of unique kind of like magic about like Pez. And I think I see that in e football now as well. That like I was playing a match last night, and we'll get on to gameplay in a sec because I, I had some unreal games last night against the offline. I played I was up till about half five, like tweeting and going crazy yeah. at the day off work today. <laughs> um keeping the missus awake, but I was playing against the AI. It was just because the servers were down and there was like two or three times within the training mode that I was just controlling Messi or Neymar and I was trying different things where I was like, Jesus, I'm going back into the replay to see exactly what I did there. And it was like, you know, like doing a Zidane turn and yeah. without completing the entire animation of the Zidane turn, which kind of is locked in PES 2021 and it has been locked as far as I can remember, I'm kind of passing out of the turn, like back heel passing out of the turn with like Neymar or I'm doing Neymar's trademark, you know, double touch, foot roll kind of double touch that's unique to him and a few other players. And I was like passing like super responsively out of it that it like, it looked like FIFA-ish in the fact of the responsiveness that I wasn't waiting yeah. for the thing to link. And like you can link skill moves, you can link, like I did a, I did a Ronaldo chop with um, Ronaldo and like it was super yeah. fast and super effective that I like literally left the defender on the ground on his arse like. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. was like, damn, that looked that looked really clean, you know? Now there's still ugliness in there. There's still like bits of collisions and stuff that they need to work on, right? No game is perfect. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm thinking is that like if I can go out there and just absolutely ball and play on the wings and play my little intricate passes where I can actually score a nice goal. Like, I'm probably in the minority, but, like, I don't really care if I lose games online as long as I'm yeah. enjoying it. Join Do you know the, what I mean? Yeah. I'm enjoying the experience. Like, and I think that's that's a huge thing as well, is that, like, you know, it was at rock bottom with 0 0.9. Like, you would literally every gaming magazine and everyone around the world, like, putting up pictures of Varane with, like, you know, 10 veins the, popping yeah. out of his head or players being introduced with no heads. Hey, yeah, referees his, fall his, through the ground yeah. and now we've well, gone then, from that yeah. to this and it's like it's still not there yet like it's still we're still not no. this is not the finished product and we still have things that we could say it needs work do you know what i mean and i'll be feeding yeah. back a lot of feedback to say this needs work this it's, needs work but yeah. it's it's a start it's it's a start that's yeah, that's, that's where we're at i think i think the re i think the 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 over the overarching thing kind of going through what expectations were was you had, as we said at the time, you had the Messi trailer, which set that thing far yeah. too high. Yeah. You then, right, so every, that was the only thing that people saw, and then 09 drops, but, oh, 0 0.9 drops, and then expectations go crashing for the floor. Yeah. Then 0 0.9.1 drops, and you can, you can see that people still aren't happy. Mm. And then, obviously, they start to tweak it ever so slightly, like and they start to go like there's a little bit there yeah not enough but there's a little bit so and now i feel that like the game has delivered at least at this point in time has delivered somewhat 
to some of the promise that I think people originally had. Yeah. They can see the elements of the Unreal Engine. They can see some of the elements of gameplay and responsiveness and you know slickness. But as we said, the the, the proof is going to be in the pudding when you know you're 100 games deep or you're 200 games deep and you go okay. So what really is this game? What are yeah. the key mechanics? Yeah. Like obviously we're day one and and I'm sure that you know over the course of the pods and over the course of live streams and and everything else in between you're going to see an evolution of views. You're going to see an evolution of, okay, this is where Wes was. This mm. is where Barry was. Where are they as time goes on? Because mm. I'm sure that these podcasts are going to become more regular in the sense of, you know, we're going to have players each week to look at, you know, what, you know, what has been working for you, how have your games been, like those types of discussions. Yeah, but there's so it's much content. Necessarily, yeah, it's not necessarily going to be on the, 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 the delivery the delivery of it now i think i think now that we're at this 1.0 point yeah now that we're at the release of dream team i think now the discussion point now moves to okay so how is the game playing yeah this week? yeah exactly yeah released? like like it does change the narrative somewhat mm. it, and as we keep saying it does not excuse what's gone before no like, definitely you know, not. if you, if you want to have our views on what happened before oh, you can the last go six and, or you seven go and, podcasts you go and check, yeah you can go check the pods for where i've got a vein popping out of my neck and seth just <laughs> seth doesn't really know what to do and then he chimes in and goes actually yeah this is how i feel as well like you you, you can see those those patterns and you can see that those things if you want to see it that's yeah grand. But, I'm just happy, know, man, that we finally get to see like, like. There's an excitement level there, which yeah. is great. But even the stuff, I'm just long. personally, selfishly, I'm kind of happy that, like, you know, I was very, you know, this, and I, you know, I didn't really go into too much detail with, on it with the podcast, but like, I was really frustrated with, like, um, the build we played before, and then yeah. what actually came out with zero point nine, because mm-hmm. you know the the build we played had was like what a couple of months ago now right it was before 0.9 actually came out but it was a build that we played that had a very very early stunning shot stunning cross stunning pass uh integration um it had the dribbling that we see now but it wasn't as responsive like the the crowd and that were a little bit you know kind of better but they're not as good as what they are like now they're, they're better they were better back then than they are now so they've probably toned that mm-hmm. down but the players and yeah. all that like the graphics and stuff you know and we went and we played that and we gave our impressions on a build of the game and that was it you know i prefaced that by saying you know like i literally played what i played um but i think now yeah. that people are seeing the foundations of this game and the breadcrumbs that it's leaving i think i'm watching this and i'm saying like yeah yeah that actually looks like what i played a couple of months ago uh, but it just looks more fluid. It looks more polished, which you would imagine yeah, because yeah. it was six, seven months ago. So, yeah. yeah, I do think now that they've got the direction right, as you said, Wes, I think that they've got the direction right. It now goes from, you know, like we did a podcast there, like, and I think I titled it, When Will We Get News? Do you know what I mean? And I think <laughs> it's now gone from, like, we have to wait and see, where we preface everything by saying, oh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see that. Right. Now it's yeah, like yeah. literally load up your PS5 and test what do you think of the dribbling? If somebody asks us on Twitter, can you guys do a podcast on the dribbling? I'm really struggling to to dribble or do tricks. We can go on and say, yeah, yeah, this is what we found. Or like, we can get somebody on, you know, that yeah. is good dribbler. Yeah, we get someone who's got, yeah, who's yeah. got much better yeah. skill level than we have. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. Well, speak for, speak for <laughs> yourself, you know. I'm a fucking demon on the game. <laughs> but uh, no, but like, that's the thing, man. It, it just moves away now from let's wait and see to right we're in here now we can come on every week and talk about the good the bad and the ugly and really get into the nitty-gritty and talk about what we like what we don't like this time next week we're going to have a huge dump of content which is going to add to that where we can talk about that um Mm -hmm. and i think as well you know there's going to be people listening that still aren't convinced that still are like disappointed and and that's fair enough and we appreciate everyone that listens to us whether you agree with yeah, us or yeah. you disagree and i you know i love debate and i love guys having different opinions yeah, yeah. um you know we are in the comments yeah but we are going to be doing we are going to be doing a lot we are going to be eventually moving this to kind of like a live i know we've been saying it for a while um a live thing so like it would be cool if we're making points and in real time people are like commenting back so we can go back and forth yeah. and if they get really out of line then i'll bring them onto discord and say oh, come on then big boy <laughs> Let's take yeah, it but on. We, we just got, yeah, listen, listen, this, this podcast is not exclusively just for 
it's not exclusively mining your soapbox. Like it's not. No, a, definitely not. It's not. It's, it's become not, that it's not I think place. more so because there's been nothing to talk about or nothing to get guests yeah. on for. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, now that we have get yeah. now that we have the ability, we can go and, and, and talk to people about stuff and yeah. we can go and get their opinions on stuff. And, yeah, and, and I want and opinions like, of people like oh, doing... that not even the content creators. Like I want just random people just coming in and saying, like Yeah, yeah, like this is what I like about the game. And it's like, you know, he doesn't like it's not a streamer, it's not a content creator, it's literally just a guy that plays Pez. Like everyone is entitled the to their Pe- opinion. That's the way I want it. Like we, a radio sh- talk show. Like yeah, know? I was just about to say we, we need the Pez Universe radio talk show. That's, what we <laughs> That's exactly what we need. Yeah, but it'll be fun, That's man. Exactly but yeah, just look. There's lots. There's lots. We could be talking all day about it. There's lots to. It's just a completely different mood. I knew when I talked to you during. Like I knew when I talked to you yesterday. I was like. Because Wes is Wes is getting very hyped. Like I was like, oh, I can't yeah, wait to yeah, watch this stream. Yeah, because I because I because I I I I got. I don't want to say the word challenged, but I had people who were talking to me kind of around the place in DMs and publicly as well, so around me and be like, well, what's got you hyped all of a sudden? It's, yeah. like, it's not that I'm hyped. It's the fact that we had a definitive date of when the game was coming, yeah. or at least the game mode was coming. We had a definitive date. So rather than us sitting here going, oh, well, oh, we'll have to wait and see, we can talk in definitive terms now. Mm. We can turn around and say, in our opinion, the game feels good there yeah. are good aspects to this game like we can also then say definitively actually there's some stuff that we don't yeah, like, exactly but there's some exactly stuff, is it like you know the fact that you know we mentioned or i mentioned at the top of the pod you know we can mention the ugly stuff we can mention the do you know what the colors are hurting my eyes yeah like we can say definitively because that's the end now yeah it's no more no more 0.9 no more 9.1 no yeah. more oh it's a it's a it's it's a development of a game it's now this is version 1.0 yes they've led with with dream team to start with yes we still have stuff further to come so so we're still in a wait and see what happens in terms of game modes yeah because the other still stuff, they don't more than that. Yeah. edit mode which is fine but at least from an online standpoint from a dream team or uh, from a dream team standpoint we have something in yeah. terms of definitive to go this is what we think yeah and if we like say you're saying to me oh like i had something really like brilliant happened to me during the week like we can get your clip up do you know and show people yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. or i can say like oh man this this needs serious work like i'm going to be feeding this back you know to them yeah, yeah. to say like look this can't be happening as regularly as it's happening and, even, and we can get the clips and even, up and dissect it you know yeah and i was gonna say and even for, furthermore if we're talking about uh kind of even from from people if people want to send their clips in of stuff exactly yeah exactly we can I analyze mean, it and send, send those clips in we can analyze them uh, or even if it's something you want to highlight yeah uh, i.e oh there's this thing that i found that doesn't look quite right yeah can you explain this or or we can use it further to even break down Break down where we think you could have gone better with yeah. your defending or your attacking. Like, yeah. there's so many different facets. To we'll have it. to be very descriptive in how we describe things for those listening on Spotify and not watching. <laughs> yes, quite, <laughs> quite. That is one. That is one drawback. However, yeah. we 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 dare say we'll we'll be able to you know we'll be able to line it up. But yeah. I think I think as it stands today, it's a start. We're in we're in an okay place with the game again. Yeah, like it's we're to a point now where. There's some sufficient hype going around the place, and it'd be interesting to see what happens going forward. Yeah. Um, and those that are still on week, the fence with it and that have been very critical of it, like those voices are important as well. You know, like, the, yeah, like no, I have no, I like, I have respect for everybody that, like, you know, for lack of a better, better word, shit on the game in terms of like everyone's entitled to their opinion. Do you know, everyone is yeah. entitled to their opinion. Everyone is entitled to play the game, not play the game, play the game, not play the game. The, you know uninstall the I game think, reinstall yeah. it like every, yeah. i've done it before yeah, with yeah, other yeah. games yeah. it happens but everyone like like it, it at the end of the day it really boils down it, to man if you know it really boils down to for me as i've gotten older like if i'm able to get an hour to myself in the evening do i want to sit down and play elden ring nba warzone and now e-football like just having the option there for me is enough for me i'm not saying it's enough for yeah. somebody else I'm saying it's enough for me at the moment to be able to grind eFootball now and have it as a has have it as an option where it's going to be probably my main game for the next month or so. And yeah. I'm buzzing about that. Even though that there is yeah. still a lot of work that I need to see for it in order to become the complete package for me. Um yeah. like I've I've actually got a bit of a si- excitement back again. Like, you know, this week, you know, I was putting up videos on YouTube and people were commenting and it's like yeah, you know, there's people agreeing with me, there's people disagreeing with me, there's people calling me, 
you know, like an idiot. There's people saying that it's like I, I'm great, whatever. And it's like I, I just love that kind of like interaction and stuff that yeah, it's back compared compared to people just being completely disinterested in things where it's like, oh, it's dead. It's moved, you know, I moved on. And it's like, you know, let's see where it takes us now because like it's a free to play game. That's a massive incentive to play it. And Mm -hmm. you can now put in for the first time in years, you can now choose to put in money or your time. And that's, yes. and, and and now hopefully there's equal rewards for playing matches and you're not just getting 50. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Cause I, you know, but, um, they've thought of everything else so yeah man i mean look it is it is going to be it is going to be inter- interesting and exciting we're going to probably end it there um and we'll see we'll probably be back next week hopefully we'll see how this one goes but uh hopefully i'll have a game by then yeah man hopefully <laughs> hopefully i i mean i played i played two matches online now granted i used i signed pedri uh it was with my secondary account and i signed pedri and i put him up to like trained him up fairly high and then i had the rest of the defaults and like i got smashed but um (laughs) yeah it's fun it's 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 fast it's very fast online compared to um like and what i mean by fast is like not pacing but it's like when you get a play when you have the ball now you can kind of do what you want quicker do you know that kind of way it's like it's fifa ish i would say in that way that it's like almost um it's still sim. I find it's still sim, but it's just a faster simulation type of gameplay, uh, which yeah. I think a lot of a lot of online guys predominantly will like that. That it's like when they press a button, it does exactly what it says, which even is, if it skips over an animation major. or something like that in a split second. Like as I yeah. said, I did a double touch with Neymar today, pressed X before he had completed the animation, and it was like an instant like out with a double touch kick pass. Do you know what I mean? And he was yeah. ran on. It was like, damn, that looked really slick, almost think, too slick. Yeah. You know that kind of way. But that's the way online yeah. gaming probably needs to be. I think it needs to be responsive. That you're not fighting for control, like so. Yes. Yeah. You need to be playing the game, not feeling like you're having to try and fight it. Every yeah. purist now uh, and manual player is uh, deleting the podcast be, yeah, after you, devices yeah, right now. I've just yeah, alienated yeah. them all. No, I'm saying like, look, you know, I, I, I want, I want that as well. I want that simulation type gameplay that. You're able to spray the ball around and look for pockets of space and all that. But we're strictly talking about Dream Team here. That, yeah. like, I, that's I, I what most wait. people want, like, yeah. is responsiveness, yeah. you know? Like, I can't, like, there's going to be, the, you know, whenever whenever it chooses to drop in terms of Master League and, and Edit Mode, we're going to have podcasts that are geared towards those two. Yeah. So it's not like it's going to be a case that offline is going to be left behind in this. We'll be covering every blade of grass that is possible in relation to yeah, of course. Master League and Edit Mode. Because, you know, again, it should be getting the exact same type of airtime as the online stuff. So, yeah. you know, we, we've got we've got stuff to look forward to next week. We've got stuff to kind of go through um, and, and take a look at again, yeah, you know. But, um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have some games in next week and then we'll be able to kind of talk through yeah, some stuff. Yeah, definitely. Can... We can talk about gameplay, but... Definitely. Yeah, Wes, let's leave it there, man. Let's leave it there. Yeah. We'll get this out and up. And, um, yeah, I must get something to eat and, yeah chill yeah i'll be in the youtube i'll be in the youtube comments just to see what happens yeah because i'm always interested yeah yeah yeah. it's it's been good man i think people are look people are passionate that's that's the one thing like and it it sometimes can come across as like you know like hate or it can sometimes come across as like like too strong of like you know fanboyism like it can come across as everything but i do think that there is a massive a massively passionate community there that are literally just chomping at the bit of like, if you feed it, if you feed it with enough good stuff, like it's going to grow again. And I think that that's kind of, that's kind of where it needs to go now, you know, that there is options there for it to grow again. Um, yeah. It's taken a while. You know, I don't think you'll find any defenders, like especially us here, check out our last six or seven podcasts where we're literally saying, you know, it's not good enough. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. Yeah. But like, in fairness, they set out to, fix the gameplay of v0.9 and i would say for all intents and purposes they've done that whether it's for you or not that's up to you personally but i do think that it is a different game now um with still work to do man but yeah let's end it there let's end it there just under an hour or just an hour i should say now so um yeah wes we'll be back hopefully you get a game over the weekend man let's see let's see what happens they might they might uh they might work on something it must be like a network error or something like that but 
let's see what happens. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. We'll go from there, man. Go. Once I can get games, I don't really care about you, you know. I'm gonna be beasting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be beasting yeah. with my one million GP. So, so far ahead. I'm just gonna run in so an Irish ahead. squad. That's what I'm running. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm running yeah. with. Probably You're Lewandowski like, up front. He's got an Irish passport. Cost, like, cost like four p, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four p and a packet of crisps, <laughs> couple of potatoes. Um, well, All right, man. Yes, let's end it there. And uh, it's been a, a pleasure as always. And yeah, if you want, you can check us out, guys, on everything. We're on everything now, guys. We're on Spotify. We're on eye fridges eye pillows as sep says we're on pretty much everything spot of all platforms spotify soundcloud youtube for the video version and itunes i think yeah we're on everything SoundCloud. anyway so SoundCloud let us know in the comments below um if you want us to focus on anything else in the next podcast and yeah we will be back later and that's it peace take care y'all see you lads bye